Greetings, Aspiring folks, and welcome back. Joe Van here for another trumpet video. It's been a while since I've done one. Uh, over the past year, it's been a little weird. I had uh, times where I've had to work overtime and didn't have time to practice. Other times where I've been dealing with sinus issues, which made my health compromise. And I also had a relocation that happened last spring. You might notice a different background. Uh, my previous videos involved a location in Lee Summit, Missouri, where I was renting a house. Now I'm renting a small apartment. And sometime soon I may do a, a tour of the apartment once I get things this spring clean done. Uh, today's video will be a two-purpose one. Uh, it's a, a demonstration of Carmine Crusoe. Music with Cal Sanks for brass. And this is the first exercise, commonly called the six notes exercise. And once I find that page, um, it looks like this. Six notes that are basically the middle of the, of the trumpet player's range. And, uh, and, uh, my demonstration, I'll see what I can do with it. I'll start with with it as written. change octaves and sometimes I'll go up an octave uh, but lately it's like since lack of practice like my control in the upper register has slipped a bit <coughs> but one of the things I like about that exercise this is a really good warm-up exercise when I do a regular warm-up I'll fit this in between the normal long tones and lip slurs and I've also used it because it's G through C on a trumpet I even incorporate that in my warm-ups on the trombone for F through B flat. Because trumpets transpose because of treble clef, trombones don't because it's bass clef. And uh, so I found it find it to be a handy exercise. I use it every time I practice. So uh, so this comes to the other part of my video. It's, I've had this this trumpet for a little over two years, and. Uh, so I just give some overall thoughts. As far as the trumpet itself, it's a Mandini MTT dash N. It's their basic trumpet. The dash N means nickel finish, which has an actually cool shine to it. The only drawback of the nickel finish is that it does tend to react to the being in contact with the flesh, so I have to do have to polish it once in a while. Um, it's still a solid trumpet. Valves still work well, the slides work well. The only other drawback is that because it's a student deal level instrument, the adjustable throw or th uh, ring on the third valve slide. Because it's adjustable, uh, the risk is that, unless I really pay attention, sometimes it's, uh, th the set screw will work loose, so sometimes if I kick it out for low C sharp and low D, sometimes I'll only move the ring instead of slide. Those are the only drawbacks, but it served me well. The biggest change I did with playing it since I first got it, that when I first received the instrument, I was using the one half C mouthpiece because that was the size I used in high school and college. I've since switched to one E, which helps on the high notes. And uh, 
Let's see what I can do. I'm not going to do a full range check on it, but I'll see what I can do. <laughs> So it'll still do, it will actually do E above double high C, which is the highest I've ever done. I've already reached an octave higher than my college years, which says a lot for what I've learned recently as far as air setup and lift setup and tongue set for the high notes. Low notes. <laughs> Pedal F sharp is even. So I did manage to double pedal C, which is as low as I can actually get right now. Uh, I struggle with that because it's just low frequency. But overall, it's like I like this instrument. It served me quite well. Uh, I'll probably continue using my training, and uh, it's a nice looking instrument. And uh, for some of those. At the time, it was a $120 instrument, now $200 because of inflation. Uh, you get pretty good bang, you'll get pretty good bang for the buck for getting this as a training trumpet. Uh, I would fully recommend it. It served me quite well, and, and I'm glad to have something I can use that's within budget. Uh, so that, that's been pretty much uh, my uh, thoughts about the instrument. As far as the technical side, my weakest parts right now are in, endurance, mainly on the breathing. Uh, I'd still yet to be able to play Arben's first studies exercise number 46 completely through without having to take a break. Not because of the chalk, but because of my breathing. And then as I, I never have nailed down triple tonguing yet. Uh, that'll come when I finish the first studies. And uh, so that's where I'm at right now. My pain of the instrument. And, Tomon Crusoe. Uh, this is kind of a raw video, but hopefully you got something out of it. And thanks for watching. You're welcome to subscribe, and I wish you the best.